Hey guys, 3D Printed Life here with a slightly different machine today. Um, this here is actually a laser cutter that I built for a senior project. That was a class my high school had, uh, senior year. Um, I think there's about, like, a f there's a few hundred schools in the country that have that, so hopefully a few kn you know what I'm talking about. But essentially, you spend the whole year uh, working on a project, uh, writing an essay about something related to it, and then you present it at the end of the year. Uh, and then it's built into, like, the English class. But anyway, I'm not advertising that. It was fun, but still. Um, anyway, so I built this laser cutter, and it's just been kind of sitting in my room for quite some time because I had very little use for it, considering the laser here. It's only a half-watt um, 405 nanometer laser, so it can cut some stuff pretty well. Um, but the clearance is it's very low. It's less than an inch. But it's perfect for the bed, so what I'm actually using it for, as you can see, is this is a, a test piece, a scrap piece that I messed up. Um, I'm using it to, first of all, cut out templates for where I'm going to drill the holes. So hopefully this will make it much more accurate so that I have much less mess, mess ups. I only messed up two so far, but two out of six is not so good. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I am also using it to engrave a logo, which is what it's doing now. This is the slower part. Um, I don't know exactly how it's going to come out, so you and I are going to see this for the first time together. But I did another uh, a test of the, well, similar logo at a slightly higher speed, so I'm hoping that slowing it down a bit here will make it come out a bit better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and then I'm going to jump to when it is uh, done cutting, and then I will, well, I guess we will both see how it turned out. Also, I should just mention that I will link the um, the actually Instructables page below where I get inspiration for this project from. It essentially uses the same software and the same, I guess you could say the same uh, basic framework, although I'm using an old plotter machine that my dad had in the attic and uh, some bigger steppers, whereas he used old uh, disk drives and just used those steppers, the tiny little ones that were built in. Um, but yeah, anyway, link will be below and it is still going, but I guess I can let you watch for just a little bit. It's not moving fast, so it's it's not too exciting. But as you can see, it's already cut out the U from the logo. Uh, it just finished the 3, I believe, and now it's just finishing up on the P. It's kind of hard to see because of the low clearance. But yeah, it's bright. I'm I actually wear uh, these red safety goggles because, I mean, just looking at the reflection, it a certain wavelength makes you just feel nauseous, plus it's really, really obnoxious and irritating. Uh, so yeah, I always wear the goggles. Um, but I've actually pointed this laser outside uh, before I hooked it up to all this, of course, just to test it out. And it was amazing. You could see the beam in broad daylight, and it was... Uh, it, it, well, it made you feel queasy because of the wavelength, but it was just really cool looking. Um, but yeah, now it's uh, pretty much permanently on the machine. I have it wired up. This was my um, pre-3D printer days, so everything is held together by hot glue, electrical tape, and a few bolts, not many. Um, I actually did plan on upgrading this thing with 3D printed parts, but I haven't had the time because of 3UP. Anyway, it's done now, so here is the, the logo. That's the cool part that I care about, and then I already know that those come out fine, there'll be nice guides, so I no longer have to print out sheets and tape them on, and that was just bad. So I'm going to go ahead and just peel off this corner and see how it came out. So here we have it, folks. I know you can't really see because that, but... Um, it, ca it casts a really nice shadow, as you can see, but it isn't super visible. Um, not to mention it's going to be underneath tape, probably for the majority of you, but... Still a nice little touch, definitely going to be including that. Um, makes it look a bit more uh, professional, I'd say. There we go. So yeah, not, not bad at all. It did require a little bit of cleaning up, but it's a pretty nice uh, engraving. If my phone would stop focusing behind it, thank you very much. So yeah, not bad at all. So this is definitely going to be included on all of the acrylic beds from now on. Sorry, Theta guys, you you missed out on the little engraved logo. Oh, you can feel it too. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So, um, oh wait, no, I didn't do it on the wrong side. Never mind. I, I engraved it opposite of these holes so that it wouldn't just be engraving in the empty spaces. But yeah, 
So this is going to be right on the front of your printer, the front left in the home area. Um, so, I mean, as long as you have tape over this, it'll keep it protected and it would keep it hidden. But, you know, uh, who cares? It's cool looking and it only takes another two minutes and I don't have to do anything. So that will be on them from, from now on. Pretty cool. And I'm glad I finally found a use, albeit not too important use, for my laser cutter. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead is I'm going to engrave the four... Uh, actually, I might even do more than that. Anyway, all the beds that I'm going to be engraving and then I will be cutting them out and getting ready to ship them out because as you can see I'm in final production despite the fact that I'm still missing quite a few printed parts all the metal they're all packaged up the threaded rods are cut and uh, lubricated and packaged up I've got some of the parts here shipped to me I have parts I've done I'm just waiting for the rest which are printing now but it's being a pain so blah 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 kits will go out soon don't worry Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you later.